it's me, Yuni, and welcome back to more Alan Wake. So we are still trying to make it through the woods here. Hello! <laughs> okay, we have to battle here. What does it say? The darkness. I don't see. Something about the face. Is this a boss? I don't have any batteries anymore. How am I gonna do this? Oh my god, I need to get further in here. Oh, I forgot I have these flares. I forgot to use those. Okay, I did it. I don't think he was a boss then, but... Yeah. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay, we need to get to the other side here somehow. What is this? Oh, here. Yeah, we can jump up. Hmm. Why does it look so creepy here? <laughs> okay, some batteries. Nice. Oh my god! Wow! That scared me. <gasps> I think I need to use the flares! The batteries are just not... I mean the flashlight is not strong enough. Oh, here's a hunting rifle in here. I missed that before, but now I got that. That's nice. Alright, let's try it with the rifle. Come here. If you dare. Oh, I think that was bad. I shouldn't have used it. Dodge, come on. I'm trying, okay? <laughs> oh god. I'm so dead! Oh wow, I was able to do it, but I was almost dead. <laughs> what am I doing? I see some light there. Are we out of the woods? Are we finally out of here? <laughs> Almost. Alright. A flare too, nice. Where can we go from here? Oh, we could open this. Alright. Oh my god, what? Yes, a chainsaw! <laughs> oh my god. This is a boss battle. <laughs> it has to be. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna use a flare here. I'm scared of this guy. <laughs> wow. Dodge? I think I did. 
He's so scary. Oh my god. I hope I can do this. Yes. Shoot. Yes. I did it. He died in two shots. Oh. <gasps> okay. Where are we? Campgrounds? Is that where we are going? Oh, we can go this way too. Hmm. I, I think I want to go this way because there's some light here. The campgrounds. Elderwood Nation National Park. Uh, yeah, light. Nice. Very. Stay out of sight. I'm on my way. Don't open the door. What am I crazy? Stay hidden. I'll be there soon. Just make sure you keep the lights on. Okay. Uh, so this way back home. I hope. <laughs> the campground. I still okay. had to reach Barry at the cabin, but at least I was out of the woods. We need to get there quickly and help him. Oh, the lights are on the here. From the lock garage. It would get me back to Barry faster. Yes. And the headlights were a welcome bonus. How can we open it up? Maybe there's something in here. Oh, manuscript page. Let's see what it says. The FBI agent's command froze me in place. I considered surrender. It was all falling apart anyway. I could give in. Let someone else deal with it. But it felt all wrong. Cold instinct. His posture. The way he held the gun. He was no friend. Shots ringing in my ears. I leaped for the hole in the fence and stumbled into the darkness beyond. <gasps> okay, this is just a toilet place. But there are no toilets here. Oh, some ammo. Nice. Oh, here's some toilets in this one. Why is the light on here? <laughs> That's creepy. Okay, I got the keys. Oh my god. A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. So he did write it, but he can't remember it. Oh, what is this? Why Why is he on... On the TV? Oh my god, hey! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Oh wow, <laughs> that scared me here. Okay, but well, I'm fine. <laughs> Let's go get the car. I wonder if I can drive it myself. That would be nice. Oh, it looks like I can. Really? Oh wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What? Do I have to shoot? I don't know. Can I just drive over him? <gasps> wow. Where am I going though? This way? Wow, this is fun. Oh my god, I like this. I love driving cars in games. It's so fun. Oh! Why is there so much stuff? Lying around the, on the street. Oh wow. Okay, I can't go this way. Am I even going the right way? <laughs> Maybe I'm not supposed to go this way. Oh, but I can. Okay. Let's go. <gasps> More of them. Well, it's nice that I'm safe inside the car. I'm getting there. I think this is going up back to Barry, right? Elderwood. 
Oh yeah, I've been here. I'm getting back. Barry, be safe, please. Oh wow. I guess I'll have to leave the car here. Okay. Some ammo. The flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. Yeah. That sounds good. Oh wow! Oh, oh my god. <gasps> I keep dying in this game. <laughs> I need to learn to dodge. I'm so bad. Okay, let's try it again. The flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark. Let's try the flare gun again here. And they all um. Wow! Did they die in one shot? Oh my god, wow. I like that weapon! Best weapon ever! <gasps> oh, there's more! <gasps> yes! Alright, we did it! Let's get the Barry! We're getting there. It was the kidnapper. You oh. son of a bitch! Where's my wife? Enough horseplay, wake! You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't... Listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need... a week. It's not done? I need a week. Two days. The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. If not, well, get me. Yes, yes, I, I get you. Oh wow, all the birds here. That's way more than I thought it would be. What is going on Harry here? talked about birds over the phone. Yeah, that's worse, okay. A lot. <laughs> you need to help him. I hope he's okay. Ow, I am so glad you're here. A couple of them got in here before <gasps> I blocked the chimney. This isn't yeah. normal. These birds are weird. Can he open the door? I guess I have to go another way. Or do I need to get rid of the birds? Is that what I have to... Hello there, birds. Oh my god. <laughs> Come again. Come on. Yes. Is that good? I still need to shoot them, I think. Okay. Here. I guess a flare gun is what I need to use here. Are you coming? How can I get rid of them all? There's just so many. There's no for me. Oh, wow. This is really hard. Wow, I must be doing it wrong. I mean, I get flares here. 
So I guess that's really what I have to do. Oh, yeah, the flare gun is really good, but when I don't have it anymore, it's getting hard. <laughs> wow. Okay, no more flares. Oh, there's batteries here. Nice. Oh wow, I was able to do it. <laughs> Al, I'm I'm sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche. A tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real. And I couldn't put a single word on paper. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll be there in less than an hour. See you soon. Have a great day. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the old dear diner. Good girl. Okay, that's why she sounded so weird. <laughs> is she possessed? Or something? What is this? Previously on Alan okay. Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, the killer. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. It's so dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah, is in two days. I found Good girl. Episode 3, Ransom. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? 
I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy! Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and, get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer, but I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Okay, so... How come that we found that island? Like, how come we were there if it's gone for so long? Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. Oh, wow. It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook story. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway... She knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Oh. The lady with the lamp. I mean, she must know about the darkness thing is, because she has a lamp with her all the time. <laughs> Well, it's mister, here? this here's Rose's trailer. All right. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Knock, knock. I don't really Welcome want to go in here. To... Oh, dear. Mr. Wake. I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Please, come in. Wouldn't they notice that she's really hey, acting weird? Hey, this is really good! Rose. Yes? My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah, uh, hey Al? Al, what's... Oh. Barry! Oh, no. What? Oh no. That's bad. It's coming for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I am 
shushed. You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. Who is this a woman? Back to that boy. Is she the one behind all of this? Is she the kidnapper? I don't know what. I mean, I felt nauseous, hung over. Weird. Only anger kept me going. Oh, what's that? TV. Reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. <gasps> I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, okay. but I know she's right. She's right. She promises yeah. me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do about the complex incantation I'm attempting, about this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. Okay, that's really creepy. So she is the one who is writing this. And he can't remember it. <laughs> All right, it's getting really interesting and but I'm going to end this episode here and continue the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.